Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the second in my trilogy of videos about the unread books on my TBR. My previous video was all the physical unread books um, that I had so this time we're going to talk about all the books that I have um, downloaded from Audible. Uh, these are all ones that have been bought with credits, um, so they're all ones that I own. I don't currently have a live subscription with Audible, but the good thing is with them is that once you cancel your subscription, you still have the books that you bought with credits to listen to. So I'm going to take you through all of the ones that I have never read in any other format before. So they're not ones that I've read in paperback, they're not ones that I've read in ebook. They are completely brand new to me stories. I had hoped to be able to film something on um, computer or a tablet or some other way uh, so that I could show you the book covers that way but unfortunately I'm going to have to resort to just putting a, a screenshot of the book covers on screen here for you. As I did with the physical I will try and do a counter so that at the end of the video you will know how many of these I actually have and as with my physical books I will be going through these um, in the uh, sorted by surname of author so they will be A to Z by author. So without further ado let's go through them all. Please excuse me if I'm looking down um, I am actually looking at my tablet screen um, so that I can give you the titles. The Watchmaker's Daughter by C.J. Archer the Librarian of Crooked Lane, also by C.J. Archer. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Firebard. And Frostblood, both by Ellie Blake. Graceling by Kristen Cashore. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Fledgling by Nicole Conway. Songs of the Earth by Elspeth Cooper. A Dance of Cloaks by David Dalglish. My Sister's Grave by David Dugoni. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Hounded by Kevin Hearn. The Last Four Things by Paul Hoffman. Eternal Rider by Larissa Ione. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. The Realms They're Under by Ross Lawhead. Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Enraptured, Tempted, Entwined and Marked, all by Elizabeth Norton. One Day by David Nichols. The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Nifnegger. The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. The Guardians by Andrew Piper. Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer. And The Lost Hero, both by Rick Ray Alden. Year One by Nora Roberts. Divergent by Veronica Roth. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. Surviving to Drive by Gunther Steiner. Age of Iron by Angus Watson. And finally, The Martian by Andy Weir. So, that's 39 books uh, that I have in audio that I have not consumed in any other format. Uh, coming up after this will be the final instalment and that will be all the books that are on my Kindle um, uh, and I have an ebook format. There is some crossover, I must say there is some crossover between the two. Uh, so when you watch that video, don't be surprised if you see books on there that are also on, on here. And that's because I have them in both formats but neither of them have been consumed yet. So I decided to put them both on here and um, let you uh, see that I have them both. Um, what I will be doing is as soon as they've been consumed either in audio or in ebook, they will be taken off of the unread TBR and moved to the reread TBR because anything that I have duplications of that I know I've read before, they are on a reread TBR instead of an unread TBR but I'm not gonna go through that one with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do you have any recommendations from that list that you think would be great for me to listen to? 
uh, on a short commute to work. My commute is between 20 and 30 minutes a day, depending on traffic. Um, so I need something that is fairly easy to consume in small bite-sized pieces. So if you have any recommendations of those um, that I already own, because like I say, I don't have a subscription anymore, so I won't be buying any more e um, audiobooks for quite some time. Um, yeah, let me know, because I want to make a dent in this list. Um, and I want to get some of them read and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to achieve that because some of them are quite chunky books um, and they're fantasy. A lot of these are fantasy um, because I find fantasy easier to consume for some reason in audio than I do romance. I think it's secondhand embarrassment and I'm always worried with romance that when we hit spicy scenes that I've got my volume up too loud and people around me can hear it. Uh, so yeah. So, like I say, any recommendations, let me know down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel so you get more of me on your feed. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.